This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 2 of Dragon's Dogma 2 on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were, people. Oh, for God's sake, could somebody get me a decent pair of shoes, please? Good grief. Right, we're going to crack in, people. We're going to go straight off and we're going to start adventuring as long as we can get out of this gate. It seems to be where it's suggesting that I go. <clears throat> a world map, yeah, B, that's it. Yeah, it does seem to be, although that, I don't know, yeah, it seems to be suggesting I walk down this dark bit, whereas I'm going out this road here, but anyway, let's see what happens, eh? Hey, oh, you a soldier? Could be a surprise to see you <laughs> arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Yeah, this hitting next all the time is a little bit frustrating though. Like, just have your conversation. Why do you need me to hit next all the time? To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. I mean, it's not like I've got to make any decisions. In fact, I'm not even in this conversation. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? I can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only a short ways out from the main gate. If it gets me out of this conversation, absolutely. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. Anacardo, just for you. <laughs> there, you're welcome for the free advertising. A setting a priority quest. You can select a quest to prioritize from among those you have accepted. If the quest destination is known, a marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that particular quest, they will be able to guide you to your objective. However, pawns with such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as a priority. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Taking on multiple quests at, one, at once be, uh, comes with a risk of being unable to act in time. And this can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factor of time in mind when managing your current quests and taking on new ones. That's a good plan, that. I mean, this is quite good so far as... I know, if, like most people... A... You know, you go to jobs where you pick up all the jobs and you just stockpile them. So that's kind of stopping you doing that. Oh, there we go. Hey, that said though, I didn't actually... Oh, that's interesting. Why is it now no longer... We've not counted a thief among our number for some time. Hmm. No need of a thief. Oh, is it because it's saving? Overwhelm our foes with sheer force. Hmm, for some reason I can't get into my quest stuff. Oh, was it a oh no, that was a tutorial thing that was, that was holding it down, wasn't it? <coughs> a quest, there we go. So, ordeal of a new recruit. Go to Arcado's aid and see, it, see to it that the recruit survives his first brush with the harpies. Uh, uh, I'll set as priority X. There you go. Sir Accardo is in need of our aid. If you wish to meet with this person, I would gladly lead the way. There are four commands that Arisen can use to direct their pawns companion, their pawn companions. 
and their effects vary according to the circumstances in which they are used, such as when in or out of combat. The best way to get a feel for each command is to observe your pawn's response and of course, uh, and course of action in various situations. Go instructs pawns to act independently of the arisen during combat. It directs pawns to spread out across the battlefield. It can also be used to request assistance with carrying out an action to request guidance to a location or to instruct a pawn to resume guidance that has been interrupted. To me, instructs pawns to approach the arisen during combat. It directs pawns to fight by the arisen's side. Wait instructs pawns to remain where they are until they have given a different command. During combat, it directs pawns to cease attacking and focus on aiding the arisen directly. Instructs uh, Help instructs pawns to prioritize support, healing, and recovery. Okay, yeah, and it's on the D-pad, and nice and easy to use. Direct pawns interactions with go. Level 3, whoop woo! Plus 20 health, stamina, yeah, it's telling us what we're getting. Well, I think we'll have a little uh, nosy around. Oh, hello. Is that the dead things here? Well, we've got a fair bit of coin there. Steady. Ooh, goblins down there. Oh, hello. Is she in a fight? Oh, no, she's just saying come to me. Yep, Puppy Max has decided to uh, start nibbling me slippers. Hey, you got toys all around the living room. You want to nibble me slippers? Uh, when has a dog ever been interested in slippers? Eh? <laughs> Tis this way. That's how rock and roll I am, people. Gaming in me slippers. Slippers. Not sure why I keep getting the battle music. Something must be kicking around. Yeah, I'm going to go down here and fight these goblins, dude. If I can get down. I thought the path was going to take us down. Yeah, here we go. Yon path leads not to our destination. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. <laughs> Doing pretty decent damage with this new bow, to be fair. Over so soon? Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Ooh. 540 shiny gold? What the shit? Well, there seems to be a crossing there as it happens. Hang on. Did we loot everything? I think we did. It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say? Master? Yeah, that, is, that could get annoying quite quickly when you want to look around for stuff and they just keep saying oh can we get on with it please although it might be because I've got the, the quest prioritised yeah I was going to say I was just wondering if you can break barrels and stuff but ingredients are plentiful here about shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here <laughs> I 
There's got to be an easier way to... Uh, uh, Well, there was nothing fantastical over here, was there? Let's go, team. Oh, yeah, I forgot about jump. During my travels beyond the rift, may I show you to its location? Uh, yes, please. Oh, she's pointing to it. Brilliant. Well, I say brilliant. <laughs> Does it mean it's up the hill or no? Tis a glad thing. Yeah, there it is. There. Brilliant. Try not to get hit. Let Leon leveled up. Go to waste. Whoa. Got some copper. I'm sure copper will come in handy for crafting something later on. <laughs> brilliant just gave us a high five there or a side five as it was that's brilliant i love that that's the sort of shit that makes me love a game people i suppose there can be no harm in bringing this over it will find a use for it now we've got a wake stone wake stones are special items that can only be used by the arisen they have the power to restore life to the fallen and may be used to revive the arisen or another of their choice. Well, wake stone, I guess that makes sense. I'm assuming it's I'd picked one up, which is why it's uh, telling me that. Pray, follow me. Can we climb? Yes, we can. Brilliant. Apple. Wow, loads of apples. But we'll take those because we definitely well they they heal us, so we might they might come in handy for early gameplay. <clears throat> Can hear something singing. Harpies, me as a guess. Yeah. We are none of us alive in vocation. There's a Whoa. Went into some sort of little cutscene there. Well done. Yeah, aim doesn't seem to be particularly great at these sort of creatures, does it? In the old one, you could get them to grab onto them, couldn't you? They could grab them and hold them while you shot them. Level four. Nice. Another side five. I like it. Vocation rank. Nice. We've arrived, just as planned. To be fair, we've probably got enough. Go oh, well, uh. is that all of them? Yeah, you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. 
I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to... Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. I cut him off there thinking he'd finished speaking, but he hadn't. I feel like there was harpies kicking around that I hadn't picked stuff up from. It doesn't show you on the map where you've killed stuff, does it? I'm wondering if the gathering of herbs and stuff actually weighs you down or not. Well, we're meant to be going back to the camp, I think. I feel like I only picked stuff up from two harpies, but I feel like I killed about four of them. All this early looting of these herbs and stuff will come in handy, I bet you any money. One can never have too many materials. No. Nope. I'm determined to know what <laughs> what's further up the path, though. As a matter of fact, one master I That's his das, glowing, shining armor in all its forms. I'll be sure to keep that golden trove beetle. I may well buy myself some armor if I've got enough coin when I get back to the uh, encampment. It's relatively oh hello, it's a cave up there. We have found a material. A different combinations of materials result in. I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. Yeah, I guess we're going to come out that cave and drop it down after we've done something specific, by the looks of it. So that's a route we cannot take at the moment, I guess. I'll go and open the chest. Well, pack is slowing me down mundane camping kit. Things I can manage for the time being. <laughs> Not breaking that anytime soon. Yeah, it'd be useful to tell you. Gonna, I, I assume I'm going to have to take the stuff off of the pawns that they collect before I sort of dump the pawns. I seem to, if it's the same as the old game anyway, or the original game. <coughs> And Puppy Max is out for the count. <laughs> I actually, I, I recorded the first part for an hour and a half, which has been uploading. Well, actually, it's uploaded now. It's now processing as we speak. This is launch day still. Pen pen panacea. A, and then... It's such a nice day, I thought, right, while it's all rendering and everything, uh, sorry, while it's all uploading and stuff, I'll go for a quick run, which I did. Did an eight and a half K, and then I came back, I thought, right, I'll get Max out for another little walk. So I did that, and that's him tied out again, so he's having a little sleep again. So I probably shouldn't walk him again today, because you're not meant to overwalk them when they're that young. But he's done really well, so my wingman has.
Yeah, maybe we should go back now. There's no, there's no fast. Well, there is fast travel in this game, but you've got to be. Uh, <laughs> it's not as easy in, as in other games. I think you get a stone to do it, don't you? And they're limited. So. Oh, hello. Is this an encampment? Oh, make camp. Camping. If the Arisen has a camping kit to hand, they can pitch their tent by the remains of a campfire found at set spots throughout the wilderness, much like slaying at uh, st slaying, much like staying at an inn in town. Resting at campsites restores the party's health and stamina and recovers the lost the lost gauge. Adventurers who seldom return to town should be sure to keep a camping kit in their packs, uh, lest exhaustion overwhelm them. Camping also affords the opportunity to grill meat, granting a boost to certain stats upon consumption. The finer the quality of the meat, the greater the increase you can expect. Before setting up camp, it would be prudent to eliminate any foes lurking nearby. Neglecting to do so heightens the chance of an ambush while your party is at its most vulnerable. Uh, equip skills without camping. Ah, right, okay. I don't have any skills though, do I? Oh, I've got a barrage shot. When did I get that? Or was that just my normal shot? Yeah. Just my... I don't recall it being a barrage, though. No, maybe it is. I see. So we're going to have... A move on X, a move on B, and a move on A, and a move on Y. Lovely. <coughs> I could do Sky and Leon. I don't want to waste a camping kit though, so I might just cancel out of there. Oh, pick up. Modest camping kit. Lovely. Right, I'm now very heavy, which means I'm slow. And I haven't picked that much stuff up as far as I'm aware. Oh, I'm carrying a shield around. Oh, yeah, that's true. I knew I had a shield that was... Uh... Yeah, I knew he had a better shield. There you go. Right, we'll get rid of some stuff <clears throat> when we get back to camp as well. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Frog in me throat. So, yeah, see, why have I got that sword? Yeah, I think I must have given it back to myself when I, uh, yeah, can dump that stuff that we've unequipped, can't we? That's why I'm too heavy. All right, let's get ourselves back to the encampment and finish off that quest, I think. I don't think there's any point in carrying on because... I'm pretty sure it's not like we can just teleport back anyway. Which means we might have a longer... A longer journey back if we don't do it now. Uh Oh. Yeah, it's telling us to go there. Yeah. We're not too far away anyway. Right, come on, come on, gang. Let's go back. And then I can probably get some armor, I think. Did it tell me how much gold I've got? Yeah, we've got nearly 2,000. So I'll definitely be able to buy some stuff. Oh, hang on, I think. Did I go into a dead end here? No. This could be the downfall of a, a let's play of this game, though. That <laughs> I mean, I don't mind, but how interesting it is for you guys to watch me run really long distances. I've got no, no idea. Coming to assail us. Mayhap we've scared them all off. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. And sprinting uses stamina, so...
Master, I discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during my last journey beyond the rift. Shall I guide you to it? Uh, yes, please. You're pointing straight on. I don't know where we would have missed that. We came this way, didn't we? Unless she's referring to one we've already got, but I'd be surprised. They would only mention stuff you haven't found yet, would be my guess. Yeah, we definitely went down here. Pretty sure that's where we fought the goblins. Indeed. Over here, if you please. Over here, why? Yeah, I'm not sure what chest she was referring to then. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. I'm sure there's a very good reason for this detour. We must respect our master's wishes. Yeah, well, I'm just wondering if the butterflies flying around mean something. And I'm also wondering if these piles can be dug up if I've got a shovel, which is why the butterflies maybe are there. But And also, I was looking to see where this bloody chest was that you just mentioned. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that's where the first goblin was. Yeah. All right, I'm going to assume that we've already got the chest. Come on, team. Curiously, I'm not hearing any music while we're wandering around. It's very quiet. Like normally with these sort of games, you get a bit of music while you're wandering around. Right, hang on. I wonder if the chest's over here. We have arrived. Ooh. A ripened horse bud. Pray, follow me. We're here, and none the worse for wear. That's another way in. That's nice, isn't it? Shut the doors on me, why don't you? Right, let's go to the shop first and foremost. And sell some of this shite. Uh, well met. Hello. Allow me to sell you some items, please. All right, my old bow. And my old sword. And I'm not sure about half of this stuff. Rare beetle consuming it increases the weight one can carry. All right, okay. Yeah, but it doesn't say for how long, or is it a permanent increase? That's interesting. I might keep that then. Uh, maybe that's a permanent increase. Maybe that's why they're cool to find. Camping kit. Ah, brilliant. We can jump through what people have got here and sell from here. Uh, that's his old sh shield, I assume. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, she picked up a camping kit there, look. Beast skin. Superior wooden staff, that can go. Uh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, no, we're trying to figure out why she can't put that on. Oh, is it? Oh, is it simply the case that I'm not allowed to give her weapons? Is that basically what it is? Because she's not my follower. Somebody might have mentioned this from when I mentioned it in the last part, actually. But we couldn't put that staff on her, so I'm assuming that we can't equip the. Well, I can only assume we can't equip stuff on the people that we get from the rift. So. Uh, We'll hang on to it for now, just in case that's not true, though. I'm still very heavy, though. Why? Could be that. Copper ore. Can be used to enhance equipment, yeah. So we'll have a look into that. What the hell? All right, that's the that's the amount. A tonic known to heal any and all ailments. Consume it to recover an astonishing amount of both stamina and health, and cure all debilitations. Well, I don't know what to do here, right? Because I'm already very heavy. I'm not sure what it is that's making me very heavy. I've not even got any armor yet. I didn't check. I didn't actually finalize that sale, did I? Maybe I did. Much obliged. <clears throat> right. Let's see. Huh? <laughs> How do I get to... How do I get to my potions and stuff? Am I being thick, people? What's happening? Items. I was being thick, I think you'll find. You can now carry an additional point for 15 Gs. Yeah, I think this seems to be permanent. Can't use that yet. Or from there anyway. I can only assume it's all the items I'm carrying. I find goods for sale. So, what's she got? I think we need armor more than anything else. Uh, let's have a look at the body pieces first. I can wear that one or I can wear that one. Yeah. I think we'll go... Oh, hello. Chainmail. Or the brigand. I think we'll go brigand stuff, shall we? It's lighter. It's cheaper as well. That chainmail stuff's well expensive, isn't it? Okay. Felt cap. Or the Wanderer's hood. We'll go... I've already got that. Boots. Explorer's boots. Or woodland boots. Uh, 52 to 57. Yeah, they're actually lighter, but they're more expensive. Magic defense. Knockdown resistance. 
I don't think there's that much in it. I think I might take the cheaper ones for now, should I? Oh, they've got a plus 2% something, whatever that symbol is, debilitation resistance. And that's got a different type. Yeah, there's not a huge amount of difference between them, really. 57 against 54. 43, yeah, there's not a huge amount in it. I might just take, take the cheaper ones for now, just to save some coin. Um, I think, yeah, that's all going to be worse, presumably, than what we've got. Oh, that's everything, that's what that is. Okay, I think I'm happy with that for now. Go to checkout and purchase. Yes, equip the purchase stuff, please. Nice. Hey, nonny, nonny, do you like my hat? <laughs> nice. Right. Very heavy again. There's a shocker. Oh, well, it seems that the stuff I was wearing... Oh, yeah. No, it is there. I just didn't have a hat. So, there's got to be something that I'm, I've got that is really heavy. It must be that ore. I need to, get, I need to use it or get rid of it. Would that the gold would only rain down on my head. I don't know what to do with the ore, though, is a problem. I could put it in my chest, can't I? That's better, isn't it, eh? Looking a bit more like an archer now. I'd hasten home were this not my duty. Uh, where was the little uh, inn? Right up here. No, that's not it. Is it on the map? Well, that's the rift stone, isn't it, ahead of me? There. Yeah, that's the rift stone. No, it's over there. Mayhap this ladder is here for... I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any time. Organised storage. Right, let's have a look for that ore. Yeah, that's not as heavy as I thought it was. So that stuff's not very heavy. That's the stuff that I'm wearing. So it's just got to be the build-up of all of this stuff, but it can't be. Ah. Modest camping kit weighs 7 kilograms. So I need somebody to be carrying that that isn't me, basically. And I've got 11 horse buds. <laughs> That's for, I'm never going to use those. That's for stamina. I never bother with stamina stuff. I always run away and just let me stamina build up. 13 apples at point fifteen. Yeah. So we're carrying a fair bit of... Uh, Uh, 
I might just sell those house beds. A kilogram for me lamp. What the shit? Harpy pinion. I mean, it doesn't actually sell, can be used to enhance equipment. Anything that's enhancing equipment, I think we'll just uh, put in here for now. Wake stone's nice and light. Still heavy, even after all of that. <clears throat> Leon's looking all right. So I might get Leon to carry me... Uh, Oh, yeah, I could do some combining right enough. Sasburius Draft, which doesn't say what it does. Same thing. Oh, it says there, an nourishing restorative, restorative, common throughout the land. Consume it to recover a fair amount of health. All right, nice. Okay, so we've been making some health potions. I like it. Do come again. So. If I just give to Leon, and now I'm light. So it was that bloody kit that was uh, weighing us down. Yeah, seven kilograms on her as well. So it's actually doing that so that you don't carry loads of camping kits around with you, presumably. Hang on a minute. I'm assuming, well, maybe that's just, uh, I'm, maybe I'm misunderstanding that. Maybe the camping kit is usable over and over again. Um, and you don't have to, like, find camping kits. Guess we'll find out. <clears throat> See, Leon's gone up to average just from that camping kit. Right, let's go and finish off this quest. The smoother travels. I dare say the spring has returned to your stepmaster. A there's an exclamation mark down here. Aged scrag of beast. What are you saying, dude? If your plane had arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ear long. That's quite good. Just walk to a ladder, you go up and down it. Don't have to click anything else, just move towards it. Right, what's this telling us to do? Because I'm not seeing a marker on the map. Inform Phil of Ocado's fate. Okay. 
go to map. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. Now I've gone and stepped in it. We're running low on everything, from provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads of late. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock, and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'll be paid, of course. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. The provisioner's plate. Deliver the provisioner's note to Marcus. Okay. Really now? Right, for the love of God, will you tell me where Phil is so I can finish this quest off? Is he at the gate? Hail, friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. T'was a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. T'was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. Woo! Level 4 for Leon. Health up, stamina up, max enk up. Ordeals of a new recruit completed. So we're getting XP for doing these as well. Well, this simplifies matters. We've already Provisioner's plight, might as well make that our main quest. Got what's required here in our possession. Did we get any gold or anything for that? Mm, not really sure that we did. Thus, we've arrived. Delivery in hand. Perhaps once we've concluded this bit of business, we might allow ourselves a moment's rest. True enough. Hey, might just try a. Save and continue. Do we need to heal anything? I don't think we do. I guess our health bar is not at full, but let's just try taking a apple. <laughs> Did that do anything at the bar at the bottom? Or is that not what I think it is? A bit of health. Right, I can't use it, which would suggest that my health is full. So whatever that green bar is, can't be my health. That can't be right, surely. First assess the field. Then Suppose I can always run. Hmm. Over here, if you would. Must be our health bar, surely. That's their green bar. So I can only take one apple at a time. What's that all about? Fuel for the lantern. I was going to say, I feel like there was oil for lanterns in the last one, and sure enough... Something tells me we've travelled this path before. Is 
if it's anything like the last game when it gets proper night time I shan't leave you behind uh, it gets really pitch black you can't see anything so we might have to use the lantern We've arrived, just as planned. We have. That's ah, here we go. Assembled. A job well done, if I do say so myself. Oi! Did you need something? Uh, delivery. <clears throat> Provisioner's note. Deliver. Stand and deliver the money or your note. Yes. This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? Let's have a look then. Fine. He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as teeth. Say, and make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. We shall have to scour high and low. Uh, I, sk <laughs> I accidentally skipped a piece of the conversation. I procure some harsh buds. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did I keep them? I've got harsh buds, as it happens. Did I keep them or did I put them in the thing? Time is an ever-flowing river in this world, and the activities and behaviours of its inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to remain in the same place all day long, and may only appear in the morning, at night, or at midday. To pass the time, you can either stay at an inn, or make use of one of the special seats found outdoors in set locations. A little bench with a rug on it. Come nightfall, you will be able to see no further than the ground on your feet. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. And the onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters not seen by day. Explore the wilderness after sunset at your peril. And be sure you have a lantern in your pack. Some items that can be gathered will change over time. Such as by ripening and growing more f flavor flavorful. Uh, there are also items that if allowed to age just long enough will become more useful when combining with when when combining materials however you should keep a close eye on raw items in particular as consuming anything that has been aged past its prime is likely to have unpleasant side effects certain objects and structures that can be destroyed by your attacks in will regenerate after a set amount of time has passed similarly fruits berries and other gatherable flora will grow back after a time we now have... How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Yeah, I think I have. Uh, maybe not. A nourishing relative commons. Uh, uh, all right, he wants all of this, does he? A salubrious draught. Well, that was handy. <laughs> I just happened to have everything. Brilliant. I knew I could count on you. I knew that gathering would come in handy. Take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. Waking powder. Nice. I think. You gave Marcus the provisions. Master, idle chatter shan't do our cause any good. Matters of import. 
Sir Marcus was well pleased, Master. Shall we report our success to Sir Geoffrey? Why not? Probably not best to stay out in the wilds at night anyway. Come, I'll lead the way. Now I want to be gathering all the time. <laughs> Saves faffing around when you get a quest like that. Ah, I've got music now I'm wandering around. Just dawned on me. Yeah, how do we get powers? Maybe that'll come later. Yeah, we've got a marker this time. We didn't have that marker last time. We're here, and none the worse for wear. Oi, many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. Assisted? I got them all. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise. Our efforts have seen the 900 G dried fruit, 400 XP. Precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. All oh, right, she wants hiring. <clears throat> uh, oh, I can't. No, that's quite interesting. They just come up to you and see if you want to hire them. Add to favourites. Uh, no, nah, well, I've already got a warrior. Hey, so what's next then? Do we just go for the main quest? Don't seem to have another side quest as yet. Quests. Make for Melv. You have heard the word that the dragon attacked Melv, yeah. Very good. I think what we'll do is, I think we'll rest until morn. I have a look in... Uh, Weight-wise and everything, we seem okay. Kabuki's heavy, but I think it's because she's carrying a pack and... Ah, she's got two staffs, yeah. Let's take that off her. Hmm. Not sure why she's heavy. She's not carrying that much stuff. It's just the pack that's heavy. Bit of a strange one. Unless she just can't carry that much, of course. Now that would suggest. Should we hang on to it? Nah. Where's shop lady? No point wasting the lantern. Uh, oh Christ. <laughs> Where am I? There we go. Well met. One big well met. Sell, sell, sell. That. Why is it asking me if I'm certain? A strange one. 4,000 gold, though. Anything new in, in stock? Probably not. No. It's a fair difference in weight, that uh, chain mail. Okay, she's not got any rings or anything. 
much obliged. Later. What the actual? F there we go. I'd hasten home. Were this not my duty. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. Sure. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any time. All oh, right, so I can change from a uh, archer to something else. A thousand to rest. What the fuck? What sort of bed am I resting in, dude? Ah, how I've longed to embrace my bedroll. A thousand gold for a bed for one night. The shit. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Your pawn has returned from beyond the rift. All right. This journey impressed upon me how vast the world truly is. The Arisen was only too willing to aid those in need. Our realms may be alike, but our values are very different. Rating received one. Oh, we've got some rift coins. 54. Travel together for a day and a night. Complete your first pawn quest. A gift giver. I think this the gift goes to the person that used your pawn, I guess. Receive all. Alright. Okay. Give all to Sky. Put in storage. Pawn travel with Kai. Uh, set a new pawn quest. I'm not sure there was nothing to do in there. Let us just say that not all arisen are quite like you, Master. Our adventure continues. When you rest at an inn, your main pawn travels beyond the rift, accompanying other arisen in the worlds and other worlds. Upon their return, your pawn will hand you a concise written report reflecting on their journey and experiences, as well as detailing any rewards received and any progress made on the pawn quests you entrusted them with. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Right. I'm still baffled somewhat as to why I couldn't eat a second apple, but anyway. Maybe it was off or something. So, oh, we have hit the hour mark actually, so I'm just wondering if it's a good place to wrap things up. Didn't get quite as much action in this one as I thought we were going to get. We've got a little bit though. We've got a little bit. So, we're going to be heading that away. Yeah, well, it's just, just outside where we are. It's not that far away that happens. So we're going to be heading to there, and it's the main quest. So probably a good idea not to trigger it in this part, as we've gone over an hour already. I'm going to crack on with more recording immediately after this and throw more parts up as quickly and as swiftly as I can, people, for those people that are interested in watching more. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that once again, people. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Dragon's Dogma 2 on the Xbox Series X, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.